Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. Many of you know I recently bought this boom lift and it has just been an awesome addition to the farm. I've had to do quite a bit of work to get it fully operational again, but since then I've been able to use it for trimming limbs that are difficult to reach, taking down dead trees, working on my porch, even cleaning my gutters. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Here I'm using it to work on a barn that has a really difficult to reach area. I mean, I'm only like 20 feet. Yeah, I know, I should have a harness on. Let's see if I can go out any further. Nope, it won't telescope anymore. I'm gonna have to, I think I can reach it. And it was right at this point that I thought, maybe the lift wasn't such a great idea after all. We'll come back to this. You know, that's not the only bad day I've had with the lift. One day I came out to start it, and some idiot had left the ignition on. And, of course, the battery was stone dead. So, I go around to take a look at the battery. Connections look okay. I wanted to use the lift, so rather than waiting for the battery to charge, I figured I'd swap it out for one that's already charged. I was actually going to use it to shoot some drone footage to do a thumbnail. So with it running now, I head it up. I got up about 50 feet and shut it down so that I could do my drone footage. I got some good drone footage. Look at the fall color, I love those red trees. But then, well, we have a problem. It won't start, nothing. And I've got this aux power that should let me down, but it's not working either. Oh boy, and I am here alone. See how many cars are down there? Yeah, none. My truck back there. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting out by alternate means. I'm bringing my drone remote with me so that I can land the drone once I get down. I could land it now before I repel, but then I won't have any footage of repelling. How fun is that? <laughs> That's quite a drop. Well, that's not something you do every day.
I used to be a really avid rock climber. I still climb some, so I'm very comfortable rappelling. But there's something intimidating about rappelling out of that, as opposed to rappelling on the side of a cliff. I don't know why. It's just a little unfamiliar, maybe. You're rappelling into, into open space, and there's nothing solid around you. Even the basket shakes. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun, but uh, it's a little different than rappelling off a cliff. So I went to check the battery and it didn't look like it had a bad connection, but after wiggling the cables, it worked again. Uh, the battery wasn't dead. Yeah, just a bad connection. I'm not quite sure why that did that. All right, now that I have that battery hooked back up, I should be able to go to ground and hopefully start it. That actually taught me something because the battery is kind of the uh, the common link. I needed the battery to start the engine up there and I needed the battery to run the aux pump. And because the battery became disconnected, I was stuck. Damn good thing I had a rope with me or I, I did have my phone. So I could have called someone for help. And for the record, these valves here. So you open valve number one, open valve number two, that does the telescope cylinder and allow it to retract and lower. You control the speed by opening and closing. Allow gravity to pull the telescope cylinder in. And then, so valve three will then lower the boom. And then you close all the valves and you're back to normal operation. So there is a way down. I just would have had to call someone and get help. So it wouldn't have been the end of the world. But uh, I'm glad that I was able to get out of that pickle on my own. Well, that was fun. You know what was really interesting about that is this is, that was the first time I brought this rope up there and it's because of one of the members of the audience they commented that they always bring a rope a harness and a, and a dry bag up in the lift with them just for that reason and I thought yeah that's a great idea uh, you know I had the harness anyway but um, that was the first time I actually had a rope with me and I used it <laughs> safe to say I am always gonna have a rope with me in the future I can't recall who left that comment, but thank you. That was helpful to say the least. By the way, those are my wrenching pants. They're actually clean, believe it or not. <laughs> so that was kind of a close call on the lift, but it turned out okay. Not really on the same level as this. So what happened here? Well, I have a little confession to make. I haven't been entirely honest with you. You see this barn right here? Well, it's actually not right here. I put that in. Let me just play the whole clip for you. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I staged the whole thing. Hope you'll forgive me. My daughter and her friends were over and we couldn't resist putting the boom lift out over the pond. And I couldn't resist trolling my YouTube audience. What happens when you mix heavy machinery with a country pond? You get a redneck amusement park.
I'm an idiot. One, two, three. One, two, three.